back to another video of Brown Struggle in Canada and today we are at Pumpkins After Dark in Milton, Ontario. It is a pretty popular event, so let us take you inside and show you what it's all about. Pumpkins After Dark is an event that is held at multiple locations in Canada. The one we are visiting is situated in Milton, Ontario and it is one of the top activities to do in the fall season. The parking is included in the ticket price and after getting our ticket scan, we were ready to see the 6,000 handcrafted pumpkins at this event. After looking at the various snack shops in the beginning, we looked at some of these pumpkins and display and the detail in them was amazing. After which we proceeded towards the actual entry and our first look at the pumpkins after dark sign from which the actual trail starts. The first exhibit to start our trail was of the famous Canadian ice hockey. Up next was another section that portrayed a lot of the rings characters and it intrigued me a lot to see this carved out of pumpkin. The detail once again was amazing but now it was time to head to the nightmare alley. This section was so far the scariest and the spookiest section of the entire event and to top it off, they also had some scary background music going on to make this experience even better. Another thing that I really liked about this event that it wasn't rushed at all. Everyone can enjoy at their own pace and spend as much time as they like in each section. Walking through the spider-filled archway, B wasn't too excited as she hates spiders, but I find it to be really, really interesting. The use of radium along with the carved pumpkins gave it an amazing glow and was an amazing creative way to connect to the next area where we saw the poisonous frogs, snakes, scorpions and other dangerous animals around us. It might just be me but I also saw some very interestingly carved playing cards that felt misplaced in this area somehow. Moving up, let's start with the movie magic area. After seeing the Ghostbusters and some other amazing references to famous movies, it is hard not to like this area, especially for the horror characters that have been given a spotlight in this zone. At this point, we were almost midway and there we also found a food truck. So we decided to grab a snack from there. We got some popcorn and hot chocolate. And on the right side of the food truck, we saw people gather taking photos and we noticed there was a scare actor in front of the scary pumpkin patch. We took a short 5 minute break here, enjoyed our hot chocolate and then we continued to see what was next. Here the decorations were amazing and also right across from it were the portable washrooms. It's good to know that they have them midway. Moving on, the movie magic continued but this time with a more children friendly theme. We saw characters from the Toy Story, from other Disney movies like Ariel and other famous Disney characters carved on the pumpkin as well. Moving forward we came to the storybook lane. Now here you found characters from famous children stories. This included Alice in Wonderland, Snow White and the Twelve Dwarfs, Cinderella, and many more. And just a bit further in front of the McDuffie Implement Company, we saw this amazing creative use of pumpkins and digital technology. After this, we had a look at some of the final installations of the children's storybooks. And before we knew, we were in the teen land of rock and roll. Just kidding, but this just happened to be the layout. This creative use of pumpkins to show a Halloween and a normal version of the famous rock stars, along with neon cards portraying this culture. It was a really interesting sight to behold around the corner. 
just in front of the milk on the move, we saw the Liberty statue. And just in front of this statue was the Pumpkins After Dark frame where you could take your photos with the family to remember this event. And we were continuing like any other normal person, appreciating how pretty the setups were until this pumpkin decided to startle me. But it wasn't too bad. Then we continued walking which brought us to this section where they had these Greek gods carved up. This was very different and right across from it was this farm section where they had these pumpkin carvings of these different farm animals. And after that, this walkthrough section was my favorite section of the entire event. I spent almost 15 minutes here just taking pictures. This is such a perfect location for the perfect Halloween photos. These upcoming sections were some of my favorite sections at Pumpkins After Dark. First was the Jurassic Zone where there were big sculptures made from carved pumpkin of the amazing iconic dinosaurs from the movie. Moving on there were some dynamic presentations of fighters but my favorite was the Egyptian section. The details in this section were jaw dropping. Especially the sarcophagus was something to behold. Just a little bit further you'll be coming up to the pumpkin carving station. Here you can see a little bit of the demonstration of how the carving is done. There's a beaver trail food truck here as well if you are into that. And then just before the end of the trail is the carnival horror section which is presented in a circus like fashion. It is a nice amazing vibrant area just before the exit. At this point you've completed the full loop and you're back at the front entrance where you will find the pumpkin patch as well. Overall this will take you roughly one hour. At the pumpkin patch you're able to pick up pumpkins of your choice if you'd like to buy one and there's an amazing installation here where you can sit and take some great photos. After these pumpkins we were told to get out so we obliged and that was it for today's day at Pumpkins After Dark. And that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out our next adventure.